Now what's next? I am Lord Kuthumi and I come to you upon the Platinum Ray of Silence and Wisdom. Today you have seen and experienced the new energies and what they are doing to your thought patterns, your life and your world. You have all been working with these new energies in different ways brought to you by a diversity of channels. Isn't it amazing though that even if all the messages sound different, they will all lead you to the same energies. Gates, alchemy consciousness, a diversity of rays, planets and much more have brought you to this point. And now that you have been connecting with these energies, the only question left is, what is next? Because life doesn't end at 12-12 so to speak. This is just the start of more and more to come. And even though it's nice to have these special dates like 9-9, 12-12 and still to come the 12-21, there is something happening every day. Every day your planet is one step further toward ascension. And so are you. But this is not happening just by itself, there is some work involved here and not just on those special dates. Time is speeding up and you are noticing that more and more, but knowledge, conscious awareness needs more than time speeding up, new energies coming in and bringing more light to the planet. All this is being sent to help and support, not to do the work for you. You have entered the Golden Age and you are moving toward the Platinum Age in 2010. No more time to put things off saying I don't have the time right now, but I will have it soon. Or I would really like to do this class but I don't have the money for it right now. Many of you have done our 12-12 meditation of divine alchemical consciousness, many have done the meditation from Isis and no matter what meditation or methods you have used, they all have the same result. By connecting with these energies you have stepped out of the fear consciousness, the victim consciousness, conditional love consciousness and the poverty consciousness. And you have stepped into the collective, planetary, solar and galactic consciousness. Yes, all this you have done by allowing yourself to become one with the energies that have arrived on your planet. So what are you going to do next? Are you going to allow yourself to fully embrace this new consciousness or are you allowing yourself to fall back into the old one? This is where the work comes in, and I am saying work, but it's going to be a lot of fun as well. It does require a different mindset, a new way of thinking in an old world that will still have many people thinking and acting the old way. Do not let this stop you. Find your own way in working with the new energies and there are more ways than one. You can do it by yourself, find a group of like-minded people, find a teacher. There are many ways to do this and it is your choice. But do not let the old stand in the way of the new. You have made the step, and all you need is one more and then one more, you get my point? Then something on a more personal note. I would like to address something that has been happening with two of my favorite channels. There is a bit of rivalry there amongst them. They both know whom I am talking about. It is time to start working together. You are both not just teachers, you are teachers of teachers and it's time you start acting like that. I leave you all for now and send you silence and wisdom. You will find out the meaning of these words when you follow through on your path and become one with your new life. I am Kuthumi. Adonai.